Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here and the good news is that there's even more healthy, tasty and delicious food in Jerusalem. I'm sitting today just outside Casa Levi. It's a relatively new cafe in Jerusalem located on number 41 Derech Beit Lechem, which in English is Bethlehem Road. This place was founded by an immigrant to Israel from Mexico and they are obsessed with doing the best coffee you've ever tasted. What we're trying now is espresso served with some seltzer as is traditional. They do pour over coffee, they do matcha, they have a whole menu and everything is done with very much care and precision. As well as that they have a food menu that's inspired by the Mexican origin of their proprietor. What I ordered here today is a little bit of um, it's a black bean vegan cheese on a toast, pico de gallo on top and it's absolutely delicious. This place has only been in business for a couple of months but it's already amassed a cult following among English speakers. If you show up to this place at 8 in the morning there's like 10 or 20 people working on their laptops, sitting out in the sun, you can sit in the sun here or an awning. I don't have stocks in this place but it's a really really good place and if you're looking for a new coffee shop in the lovely South Jerusalem neighborhood of Baca, check out Casa La Vie. So uh, joining me here is the founder, owner, revolutionary in the Jerusalem food scene, Alfonso Yitzchak. Uh, so Alfonso, um, firstly thanks for uh, taking the, the minute to, to join the YouTube uh, conversation. Tell me a little bit about this place, it's really interesting, you're obviously doing a lot of coffee but there's very much a health food vibe going on here, so what's this place about exactly? Thank you very much. Um, but I want to correct you because the founder and the the soul behind this is my wife, ah. Meital. I'm just, yeah, you know, like the the, the guy working here and, and making my effort. But we 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 together wanted to share a little bit of our life, and it was like a big, big, big gift and merit for us to do something in in Jerusalem, which we feel and think that it's the most beautiful place on earth. The coffee we went into the specialty coffee idea world a couple of years ago it, it was very interesting for us to discover this new world of flavors that it's all to, also connected a little bit to to sustainability and a little bit of social justice and a little bit of connecting to the land and and more rooted principles mexico itself and its people and and the, and the, and the connection to the land also had a big impact on us so we want to share a little bit and through coffee we felt that it was a good a, a good opportunity to connect with people from different backgrounds different colors and that's what jerusalem gives you and this area in jerusalem the the healthy food is that's that's how my wife cooks at home and it's just very part of our life it's very very important that's we we've been close to food we've been growing food in a part of our lives in mexico in 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 a farm we volunteered in farms, so we know what's behind food, so it felt like a responsibility and it feels like a responsibility for us to give the best that, that we can. Even if people don't know about it, don't value it, even if it's more expensive for us, and at the end more expensive, we feel there's a lot of value in it. So, something I've been very impressed by passing by this place a few times is that you've, you guys don't even open a few months but there's already like seems to be a pool of regular people uh, coming in the morning so for folks who are looking for a new place in Jerusalem uh, to work with their laptop you guys have a table what's your policy anyone can come work as long as they enjoy some coffee and food yes yes we wanted to do exactly the opposite of some places that put you some stools or chairs that are not comfortable for you to go there as fast as you can even the name itself, Casa, which is home in English and it's bite in Hebrew, it's a place for you to feel at home. So if that means you want to work and the place itself and the drink that we offered and the food can inspire you a little bit, motivate you, help you concentrate, that's good. If you want to come read something, we, we have a, a selection of books that, that we like from different subjects. And that's, that's, that's the idea behind it, for you to come feel at home it doesn't matter what's your purpose of coming here, connecting, connecting to your work, to your creativity, to what you're learning, to the people you're talking to. So that's, that's a little bit of our goal. I have a final question for you because this area we're sitting in, Baca in South Jerusalem, really beautiful neighborhood. There was Waffle Bar here, uh, but to me there's a lot more potential here. So I'm just curious why you guys chose to open a business uh, specifically in this part of Jerusalem and not on maybe Emek Rafaim where there's a lot more uh, people. Honestly, it was like like a gift. Uh, we knew 
this area bluntly. We, 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 we didn't knew it very well. But as we started uh, rebuilding and making the, the repairments and starting to open and getting to know the people, we felt that it was just what we were looking for. We were looking for a place in Jerusalem that could receive all different people with all different backgrounds. Everyone is welcome here. And I think this specific uh, street connects different areas uh, like Talpiot, like Arnona, and like Baca all of the Moshaba Germanit, Moshaba Yevanit, even to Katamon. So we cover a lot of area from, from people we think we, we, who can value what we're trying to offer. Cool. Well, the food is unbelievable. The coffee was great. Um, it's amazing. So I wish you the best of luck and thanks very much, Alfonso. Good luck as a business.